Welcome to the St. James Middle School Virtual Open House. In this video, you will be introduced to the St. James Middle School family. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. We get to start school on Tuesday. I just took a phone call and whoever it was said that we get to see our kids on Tuesday. So I'm going to call Mr. Lewis and let him know he has been waiting and waiting and waiting to start school and see our kids. Let's see, one more thing. I'm Mrs. Lepper, your middle school principal, and I have been waiting 161 days to see our kids, and I am so excited that we will get to see them on Tuesday, and we get to start school. I better call Mr. Lewis. Day 161 without kids. I don't know about you, Mr. Pickles, but I'm just having a wonderful time. Hey, Lewis. Yeah? Not not. Who's there? Pickle Puh. Pickle Puh who? Hey, you said Pickle Puh. <laughs> yeah, you got me again. That was a good one. Hey, Lewis. Yeah? Have I ever told you how I met Mrs. Pickles? Yep, I've heard it before, but I might as well hear it again. I was at a Village Pickles concert, and there she was. I walked up to her and said, Babe, if you were in McDonald's Valley now, you'd be a number 10. Let me guess, that was your Velasic pickup line. Yep, that pickup line was my bread and butter. Hey, Lewis, can we watch our memories video again? Yep, we had some great memories. Let's watch that video again. Now I have the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth. And I owe it all to you. The dark side of the force is calling you. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello? Yeah? You're not kidding me, right? We're back in business? Yes! Mr. Pickles, we get to teach again! And I'm glad because there's no way I could have handled another one of your jokes or more of these uh, memories. All right, Mr. Pickles, we got to get ready. So I have my backpack and it has all the stuff I need for teaching. Let's go! All right, my green pickled friend, in the famous words of the famous philosopher, Twisted Sister, I want to rock! Hey, Lewis. Yeah? That's the fastest we've ever gotten ready for school. Well, this year's special, because this year we may have to Zoom. Mr. Lewis, it's going to be a good year. No, it's not going to be a good year. It's going to be a great year. Knuckles, Mr. Pickles. My name is Crystal Brown. I teach seventh grade math. I have four little boys, 11, 10, six, and two. Tomorrow, you'll be two. And I'm married to Stacy Brown. I have five dogs, so four Bostons and one English Bulldog, and we live on a farm and have cattle, and I really enjoy hunting, fishing, most things outdoors, and my favorite quote is, owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing that we will ever do, and I am looking forward to a great year with you guys, so I can't wait to see you on Tuesday. I am Mrs. Setzer. I teach seventh grade Tom Arts. This is my second year at St. James Middle School. Um, before that, I taught for nine years in the Viburnum School District. I chose to bring all three of my children here uh, to have more opportunities in a larger school district. It has been an amazing transition for my family. I have loved my team. I've loved being a part of the St. James School District. 
I'm very excited about getting this year started. I am passionate about reading and I am passionate about learning and spending time with my students has been an amazing way to live through that passion. I'm excited about meeting my new class, meeting my new students, and beginning this school year. I became a teacher because of that passion, because of loving my students and because of loving learning. And teaching has been very rewarding for me. My why behind teaching is being a, a, a strong support to my students, that they come to my classroom, they know that they're going to enjoy learning, they know that they are going to have engaging learning experiences, they're going to build foundations for their future learning and life experiences. I strive to create that for my students and I strive to create a safe learning environment where they can feel comfortable being themselves and expressing themselves. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you and your families. I'm looking forward to getting this year started and learning from each other. That has been my biggest reward these last few years is that not only am I teaching your students, but your students are teaching me. I've learned a lot in the last 11 years that has been taught from my students and I'm looking forward to what this year is going to bring. I'm very open to parent communication. Um, you can contact me anytime through email, through um, phone calls, and I look forward to getting to know all of you. Hi, my name is Ms. Turner, and this is my 15th year uh, with St. James Schools. I teach 7th grade Com Arts here at the middle school, and I'm so excited about starting this year. Obviously, my passion is helping children be successful. I also want them to know that they're cared about and that they're loved and I'll be here for them every day, whether that's virtually or uh, in seated instruction. So I have missed you guys and I'm looking forward to seeing you this year. Thank you. I'm Mr. Siders. I teach seventh grade science. Uh, I also teach the photography club and the crochet club uh, here at the middle school. I am married to Mrs. Siders, who teaches kindergarten. Uh, I have three kids. My oldest son will be in seventh grade this year, is Brandon. Um, Isaac is our uh, middle child, and he is in fourth grade this year, and Michaela starts kindergarten. Some of my hobbies are uh, playing jazz saxophone and uh, playing with my son. He plays saxophone as well. Um, also enjoy playing basketball with both of my boys. Uh, we play ping pong a lot at home and uh, have a lot of fun with that. Um, and I also really enjoy photography, which is uh, one of the reasons that I teach the photography club. Uh, my main inspiration for uh, becoming a teacher is both of my parents. They were uh, both teachers and um, growing up, I got to see uh, kind of the impact that they had on uh, kids and the students that they had. And um, that kind of led me to follow in their footsteps and want to pursue the same uh, thing that they did. Hi, my name is Mrs. Watson and I teach seventh grade American history. What I like best about teaching is getting to hang out every day with kids, especially this particular age group of kids because you guys are really funny. And um, I like being able to be a part of watching you grow up and helping you figure out who you are as a person. Um, and so I just love hanging out with kids all day. My favorite quote is by a girl named Anne Frank. Um, so many of you probably know her um, from her diary. Um, she was killed by the Nazis during World War II. But her quote says, um, how great that no one wait a single moment before changing the world. And I just, I love the fact that even though we don't always feel like we're making a difference, one simple act, um, one amazing moment of courage can change the trajectory of your life and the lives around you. I've known I wanted to be a teacher since I was in the fourth grade. I had a super awesome, really fun and energetic and very sweet fourth grade teacher named Mrs. Stites. And she just made coming to school every day like super fun. And um, I've always loved school being a learner. And so I thought, you know, what better way to spend every day than at school. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Kutzinger. I am the assistant principal here at St. James Middle School. Um, I'm a shared assistant, which means that I spend about half a day here in this building, and then I'm also in the elementary half a day. Um, a little about me. Well, let's see. I am a fifth generation educator, which means that 
My mom and dad were both in education. My mom was a teacher, my dad was an elementary principal. Um, my grandma was a teacher. Her mom was the superintendent of schools and then her mom was also a teacher. So it's been passed down, passed down, passed down, which is I think kind of a cool thing. Um, I'm extremely passionate about, of course, you learning about music education and maybe just a little bit about Wonder Woman if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I love some Wonder Woman. Um, my favorite quote is actually, there's nothing that's impossible. Even the words say, I'm possible. Every day you make a choice. Make a choice to make it possible. I'm glad you guys are back. Can't wait to see you all again. Hi everybody. I'm Mrs. Baker, one of the middle school counselors. I see students with the last names A, a through K. And this here is Yoshi. He's our certified therapy dog. So he went to school just like you guys are going to school and we practiced every day so he could pass his test, just like it's important that you guys practice for your tests. So we are super excited to be here. A little bit about us. I was an elementary counselor for a few years at a different district before I came here. And I also was an English teacher for eight years and a private counselor. And Yoshi used to, he started off his career um, coming with me to my private counseling agency. And he got officially certified to come into the schools last year or the year before. And he, you will probably hear him howling. He, that's his way to say hello. <laughs> he loves it. He loves being here. You'll notice this bandana. His, the bandana is his visual cue that he is working. Uh, when I don't have this bandana on, he acts like a puppy, even though he's seven years old. So every day you'll see him with a bandana because that's his signal that he has to listen extra hard at work. Um, I have an amazing family. I'm very, very blessed, which is why I also wanted to be a teacher and then a counselor. And so that is why I want to be someone for you too, that you have a consistent person who cares about you. When you come see Yoshi or I, um, that is your safe place. We don't judge you for whatever feeling you're feeling. We will companion you um, wherever you are and help you make some good choices and work through whatever issue you have. And we feel honored that you trust us enough to help you along your way. And when I say companion, when I worked at the funeral home, um, Alan Wolfelt is someone who, he says he's not a grief expert, but he does a lot of work in, the, in grieving. And so his big philosophy is you meet someone wherever they are and you are their companion. You're not the expert, you don't have all the answers, but you're not gonna let them be alone. And that is my philosophy even here at school. I will meet you wherever you are without any judgment at all, and we will get through this together. And so that's a little bit about us. Um, we are so excited to see you. Okay, uh, so <laughs> we'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Dottima. Um, I'm gonna be one of your new school counselors this year. I'll be working mostly with students whose last name starts with L through Z, but I'm happy to talk to anybody who stops by my office. Uh, my job as a counselor is to help. That's it. Um, if you're struggling or having issues at home or with friends, I'm here to help guide you through those difficult situations. Uh, the reason I became a school counselor is to help students who need someone to talk to. Um, I know growing up can be difficult, trust me, I did it once too, <laughs> and I'm here to listen to you in a non-judgmental way. Uh, trust me, there are very few things uh, that you have experienced that I have not dealt with before. I mean, I know everybody's different and growing up can be hard, in a small town can be hard um, and they can make your differences seem like 
you're the only one in the world that are dealing with those things. Um, but my job is to help you navigate through those differences so that you can be yourself. Um, my favorite quote is, whatever doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. I like this quote because we all struggle at times and I believe we are going through these uncertain times to make us stronger in the end. So I look forward to working with all of you. And one last thing, if you have a good but appropriate joke, stop by my office. I will love a good laugh. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. McCurdy. I'm your middle school librarian. The best part about my job is that I get to see all of the students in the building. So I have that opportunity to get to know everyone and not just one specific grade level. In my spare time, you'll obviously find me reading and um, just a fun fact about me, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and you'll see that whenever you walk into my library. Have a great year. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Blakely. I am teaching eighth grade career education and seventh grade agriculture. You recognized me from last year. I taught sixth grade communication arts. I am super excited to get this year started and learn new things and get to know you all and um, just have a great year. So my favorite quote is by Gota and he stated, if we treat people as if they were what they ought to be, we help them to become what they are capable of becoming. Um, I just think there's so much passion and possibility in that quote, and that's why I love it. Um, my inspiration for teaching always comes from you and connecting with you, getting to know you better, and helping you to become and dream and learn and think. I'm super excited again to start this year and I can't wait for you guys to get here. Hi all, I'm Miss Martins and I teach seventh graders in team leadership. My favorite thing about teaching and what inspires me is my students and getting to see them grow as people throughout the year. My favorite quote is my launch every day before kids leave my classroom and it's right there in my room. Hello, I am Mrs. Moore and I teach math and facts. I like to read because through reading I learn about new places and new ideas and when I read about lives that are different than mine it helps me to become compassionate. I like to exercise because moving my body helps keep it strong and safe from injury. I like to be creative with words, with pictures, with colors, with fabric. It doesn't matter what I use. Being creative helps me to express my ideas in ways that I otherwise might not be able to share. We like to celebrate our successes, but sometimes we don't take the time to celebrate in the midst of the hard work, the perseverance, the grit that it takes to plow through our obstacles to get there. Sometimes the hard work seems so overwhelming that we just want to give up and quit. But we each have the power within us to overcome our obstacles. Sometimes we need a little help. I want to be with you to celebrate the things that are joyful and to help you get through the things that are more difficult. I want you to know that you are amazing. You can do so much more than you realize. That is why I am here. That is why I am a teacher, because you are brighter than you know. Hi, my name is Coach Engelbrecht. I teach 7th and 8th grade PE here at the middle school. I also coach high school girls basketball. I'm the varsity assistant coach and JV coach. Uh, I'd like to welcome you students this year. Uh, as you can tell behind me by the sign, I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. I have been since I was a little, little kid and I'm super celebrating the Super Bowl victory right about now. Uh, I really can't wait for you guys to get here this year. It'll be fun. Uh, I really don't know what PE is going to look like. We're going to adjust to that day by day. But uh, all in all, I think it's, it's going to be a great year. So thank you very much. Hello, everyone. This is Coach Purvis here at the St. James Middle School. This is my 17th year of teaching here. Uh, I also coach high school baseball and high school softball. I am a big fan of the St. Louis Cardinals and the St. Louis Blues. 
One of my favorite things to do outside of school is fish. And I am looking forward to meeting all of you, getting to know you, and having a great school year. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Payne. I am the Assistant Director of Bands for the St. James School District. I teach all of your band classes alongside Mr. Limbeck. I also teach a guitar and a music and movies class at the high school throughout the year. A uh, little bit about myself, I grew up here in St. James, so I'm very lucky to work alongside a lot of the teachers that I had when I was in middle school. And it took me a little bit of time to get here, but I'm so glad to be back home teaching. You're going to hear a lot of your teachers talk about what, your, what our why is. Why do we teach? My big thing is I've been very lucky in my life to experience the world through music. I've played with the St. Louis Cardinals. I've played with the Harlem Globetrotters. I've performed at Disney World. I have performed in Chicago. I got to welcome Santa Claus to Chicago in 2009 with my college marching band. So I've been very lucky to experience the world, and my why is I want to give the students of my hometown those same experiences or the skills that they need to go out in life and experience those things. Right? Welcome to St. James Middle School. We're glad you're here. There we go. Hi. Hi. My name is Dustin Fallon. I teach choir. That's not very good. I need to try it again. Try it again. Hi. My name is Dustin Fallon. That, that sounds dumb. Try it again. Hi, guys. Being silly. My name is Dustin Fallon. I teach choir here at St. James. I teach all sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and I even go up to the high school in the afternoon and teach choir there. It's, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys and ready to have you guys in class, even on virtual. So a little bit about myself. I've, I grew up in St. James. I graduated high school here in 2002, then went to Missouri State University and graduated there in 2006 with my, my teaching degree in music. I have also, Joined the military while in college and still currently in, am in the military and have been in for 16 years. So I'm looking forward to finishing up my career there in the military and, and serving my country the best that I can. I am married, have been married for 15 wonderful years and I have four kids, one that's in seventh grade, one that's in fifth, one that's in second and one who's going to be four in October. So looking forward to that. A Couple questions that they wanted us to answer is why did I become a teacher? I, came, I became a teacher because I want to give students the opportunities that I had as a, as a student, but also beyond that, more opportunities that I didn't have as a, as a student. But also, the where's my why, the why I became a teacher is really to help kids prepare for their performance, whatever their performance is going to be in life. As I talk to my students here, it's you know, working at Burger King, making that performance there the best that it can be, you know, living your life at home, uh, out and about with their friends, anything that's going to help them be the best, give them the best performance, the best life performances as they can. My strengths, some of my strengths are I, I love music and I love keeping kids engaged. I do whatever I can to keep those kids engaged throughout the entire day and I move from point A to point B the entire class. There really isn't a whole lot of downtime in my class because I feel downtime could be a detriment to student learning. There also aren't very many um, quote unquote free days in my classroom. We have fun all the time so there's no reason to go outside and play because I don't teach PE, but also because I want music to be the fun for them. Passionate, what I'm passionate about, I'm really extremely passionate when it comes to my religious beliefs. I won't ever try to push them on anybody in my classroom, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm an avid person when it comes to religion, uh, Christianity specifically. I love Lord of the Rings. I love anything that's epic, Lord of the Rings, 
Um, Harry Potter, both are great books. I love Avatar The Last Airbender. I love playing almost all of the Legend of Zelda games. I'm a, I love playing video games as well, so, but Zelda's kind of one of my favorite. What do I like about this teaching job is I get to teach you. I get to teach your students. So I look forward to every single day that I get to teach you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you now get to see a face to that name. And yes, my name is Falan. But if you happen to accidentally call me Felon, Felan, Falan, it's perfectly fine. I will answer to that because five letters can sometimes be kind of difficult to, to say. All right. Have a good and wonderful day. Hello, I'm Mrs. Story, the middle school art teacher. I'm looking so forward to meeting the new sixth graders and getting back with my seventh and eighth graders. Looking forward to trying new things in art um, with pencil and crayon, paint and sculpture, um, and experimenting, making mistakes and trying to do better. Um, looking forward to this year. Good luck and enjoy. My name is Lori Perkins. I'm the new seventh grade special education teacher here at the middle school. I just moved to St. James last year with my two sons, James and John. In my free time, I love to go running and I love to read books. And my favorite quote is, be yourself, everybody else is taken. Hi middle schoolers, my name is Miss Johnson and I'm going to be the sixth grade special education teacher this year. And one thing that I wanted to let you guys know is I cannot wait to see everybody and meet everybody next week. And I want you guys to enjoy your last weekend before school starts. Bye guys. Hello, I'm Miss Terry. Um, I'm a para here at the middle school. I've been a para for 20 years. This is my 20th year. I enjoy working with students who need that extra attention, build their trust up. Some of the things that I like in my hobbies is gardening, landscaping, working outside, mowing the lawn. And I do have a sensitivity to light. If you notice, I have this dark tinted glasses. I have a specific eye condition, so I'm not wearing the sunglasses to be cool. It's just I have to wear them to be able to see. Hi, welcome to St. James Middle School. My name is Miss Janine Brandsetter. I am one of the special education parents here. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit about myself. My oldest daughter, Abigail, is 21. She's getting married in October, and she is going to school to be a teacher as well. My middle, Caitlin, is 19. She's going to school to be a veterinarian. And then our baby, Ty, he is 15 and a sophomore over at the high school. You will see me wear a lot of Cardinals gear. I love the Cardinals. I love baseball. I love softball. Anything that relates to the Cardinals, I love it. My strengths are I'm patient, I'm understanding, and I can relate to a lot of these students on so many levels. I hope you guys have a great year. Thanks. Hello, my name is Nida Davila Forrester. Most of the kids call me Mrs. D. And I am a para here at the middle school. What I like about my job is being able to come in and work with some amazing staff. Uh, the amount of love and care and thought that they put into everything that they do every single day for the kids is amazing. But I also love being able to see the kids and watch them learn and watch that kid that gets that aha moment. Uh, I look forward to that. Uh, I enjoy joking around with them and a lot of my seventh and eighth graders will let you know that I will <laughs> goof around with them. Uh, we just need some of that uh, in our lives sometimes and, and this job affords me the opportunity to do that 
to uh, help them navigate the course of a middle school life, if you will. So uh, if I had to say things that I loved about my job, those definitely would be up there. So my favorite quote would have to be, inspiration and information without personal application will never amount to transformation. Hello, my name is Mrs. Blanc. I'm one of the middle school special education paras. A little bit about myself, I'm a mother of two boys, Kane, 20, who works for the FedEx ground as a loader, unloader, James, who graduated this past year from the St. James High School. He is continuing his education in graphics design through RTI. A little bit about who my biggest inspiration would have been, or who still is, even though she is no longer with me, would be my mother. I knew she was always my best friend, but I didn't know how much she was my inspiration until she passed away of cancer. And I discovered she was the rock of the family, and she was my rock. I hope you all enjoy this year, and can't wait to see your smiling faces. Bye. Thank you.